Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Nux's world. Today we're visiting Yoshi Cliffs. Huh. Yoshi Cliffs, huh? This ought to be interesting. So, I still have this Yoshi that I stole from the hub. Which I guess is how I'm intended to get to some places in uh, the second world. So, yeah. Flying with Yoshi makes us love. Oh! But there, there's stuff here that is intended to stop you from just flying blindly into the future. Ah! There's also that. Oh, and there's a level wire coming in here. Experiencing some technical issues with the TV. Anywho, I was sick. Ah, no, get back here, Yoshi buddy. Jeez, Lucky, do you're a jerk. Flying right into my face. This episode is pretty cleverly put, er, this level is pretty cleverly put together. I like it. No! Come back, Yoshi friend! You are my friend! Oh, good, you're trapped. Alright, now that bullet's done with. Ha! I like how this level is put together. It gives you the tools for in, for Yoshi flight. And yet it uh, also prevents you from just using that to crush the level's difficulty. Ha ha ha! And considering that crushing the difficulty of levels is what I live for, like it is literally the reason I am alive today. No, that's not true. Hmm. So I need a fire flower to get the secret exit. Darn it! Yeah. Okay, so... Something, something... Wait, you filtered my Yoshi! Jerks! You filtered my Yoshi! Why would you do that to me? Anyway, something, something. So, starting on April 1st until about April 11th, I'm not going to be able to record any episodes due to being out of state. You have been warned. Anyway, brain, think, think, yes! Now I just need to survive with this all the way to the end of the level. Well, not quite the end, but nearish. Okay, so I believe that Yoshi Buddy is acquired in this direction. Yeah, this level is cleverly. Ha! This level is really cleverly put together. I like it. It gives you the tools to feel powerful with Yoshi, but even if you keep your 
awesome Yoshi flight of doom intact. You're not going to, uh... Um... Yes! I win! Anyway, you're not going to just wreck the difficulty of the whole level with it. Only most of the level. Alright. So. I need to be careful about my walking here. I'm going to put that there. Right. Alright. When I'm right up against the thing, it's not going to shoot. So I'm going to... Wait for that turtle to move, and then runs! Alright. So, lately I have taken up painting. You see, my partner sent me some watercolor paints, and so every day I try to paint something, mostly flowers. Apparently I'm pretty good at flowers. Alright, so... That pipe is now open. Let's descend and see what it hides. Ah, why? Oh, this music's pretty cool. But still, why an ice place? This is truly the cliffs part of Yoshi Cliff. Well, that was short. That was very short. That was kind of surprising. Well. I'm going to go test an idea that I had yesterday. I may have even spoken out loud about it. Hiya. You see, I thought that this might do something somewhere else. And that somewhere else, of course, is here. That's, yes, it does do something here. Alright, taken flight. Well, that's kind of a shock. Just, here's a randomly placed star. I mean, I was warned about this. I was warned about this. It's still kind of shocking. Like, I expected a secret level, not just... Big Boo's Mansion is scary. Big Boo's Mansion. It has two stars in it. Apparently they scare people. Bonk, bonk. Alright, so... Bonk, bonk. Oh no! Oh, yes, by getting the secret exit, my Yoshi didn't get filtered! Take that, level and game design. I now have unintended tools. Well, I say unintended, but the very house that has this level in it has on top of the house a secret Yoshi room. Hmm. Do I want this? Oh, I was going to try and fly up there, but there's no point to it. Alright, let's see here. What's in here? Nothing. There is nothing in there. I can't go back. Can I go around? Yes! The level wraps around! Haha! -ha. Hey, Big Boo! Um... This isn't where I expected to wind up. Plonk. I have a Yoshi, buddy. I don't need to worry about your silly spikes. Alright, so, my desktop background is lava red right below the edge of the screen here, so I keep thinking, oh, there's lava at the bottom of the screen, but that is not the case. So, that, do that door goes nowhere, this door goes somewhere, uh, I guess I'll follow the torch. Yep, I will follow the torch. 
And that's how you escape uh, Big Boo's haunt, I guess. The first time I just kind of got lucky, and then I started thinking maybe there is a torch somewhere. That was right. Here, I thought maybe the torch was significant. I am bad at explaining what I am thinking. Maybe that's why I can't get hired in my field. All right, Yoshi. Come on, buddy. Let's be friends. Yeesh! I'm trying to take flight here, but I keep getting bitten by weird plants. Alright, so, I'm not sure I need that turtle shell for anything, so, here we go. I like levels like this where they have a wraparound thing that you can do to, uh. Like, it's pretty subtle, but. Wait. How do I get the secret exit then? How do I get the secret exit? Hmm, do I need the help of a turtle for the secret exit? Turtle, you will help me acquire a secret exit. We shall achieve extra se exit secrecy. No, no, I can't bring the shell with me. I can't bring the shell with me, but you know what I can do? Trick Big Boo into descending. Assuming I can make Big Boo show its big face again. Darn it. Big Boo, where's your big face? Bring it down here. Actually, you know what? Meh. Okay, that was weird. Okay, so, just descending here. Is Are there any clues as to where the secret exit could be? Wait, I don't need a shell, I have a key with which I can destroy the Big Boo. Okay, that didn't solve the mystery of this mansion. Alright, going through here. So. What happens if I go through the top right? Nothing. There is actually one path here. Alright, I'm just going to start hitting blocks. Okay, so that just brought me back in time. Hmm. Now, which door did I already take? Let's win this one, yeah. Okay, so. This door goes nowhere, and this is probably a reset door. It resets me to the same room at least, but that doesn't enlighten me. Alright, this door goes nowhere. This door takes me to the correct door. How about you? So, the secret exit is gotten just by trying all the doors. And eventually you will find it. This level has no name, but it's apparently in a desert somewhere. Welcome to the desert with no name. You know, I think there was a song about this. Riding in the, riding in the desert on a horse with no name or something. Except I'm riding on a dinosaur, that's way cooler than a horse. Alright, this dinosaur can fly and breathe fire given the right circumstances. And that's way cooler than a dinosaur. And dinosaurs are already, like, way cool. I mean, 
There's an entire franchise of movies that is basically just, hey, we have dinosaurs, aren't we awesome? And I mean, sure, there's humans running about and stuff, but come on, dinosaurs. Cat, cat, do not touch my water cup. Alright, so, well, I expected that to be a uh, vine, since there's obviously a secret path up here of some kind. This secret exit was at least indicated. At least I assumed that was a secret exit. Alright, so... hi -yah. Oh, I barely made it. Oh, right. Come on, back down. Come on. Alright. Now let's do this level for real. Instead of the kind of joking way like, at which I approach all things. Because I don't know how to deal with being sincere and honest with my emotions. So I just use humor all the time. Forever. Even when it's not appropriate. Especially when it's not appropriate. I like puns. And I don't know why people hate puns so much. I mean, they were good enough for Shakespeare. This level was really short. And easy. I mean, easiness isn't a problem, just like difficulty isn't a problem, so long as, you know, it's fun. How do I get up here? Do, do, is a Yoshi mandatory to get up there? I think it is. Unless... Alright, second hypothesis. Nope! You need to go out, climb up a thing, and get Yoshi to go here. Switch Mountain. Hello, Mountain. You are made of Nintendo Switch. Oh gosh, that would be a hilarious level idea. Like, just a... I mean, it would be a... I, you'd still have to build a good level out of it, but that would be a hilarious aesthetic choice. And honestly, I don't have any ideas for making a mountain level. Even one that's not, you know, aesthetically just a visual gag. Curse you, squid monster. Yeah, take that, squid monster. I was hoping for a fire flower in there. Good job, me. Good job. Oh, and I have to go all the way back down. Wait, did a new path? No. I was hoping that a new path on the right side had opened up, but I was wrong. Well, that's an interesting way to force me to deal with um, this pollen. Which seems a tad closer together than it should be if it's behaving normally. Oh, at least that squid isn't a threat anymore because... reasons. Alright, so... Oh no, I messed up and gave that monstrosity a chance to spew its spores all over the place. Yeah! I'm already halfway done with... No, why? Oh, okay. You're, you're just gonna fall down and... Take that, jerk. Two hits, yeah. And the first time I fought this boss in Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario Bros. USA, I mean, it took me months to figure out, or to get good enough at the game to even reach that point, because there was this bridge, it had a bird on it, I was terrified of the bird, and I kept waiting for the bird to walk off, but then I get, ow, on the bridge, and the, I am good at this, 
and then the bird would be back, and so I'd... Pr oh, no, no, not just the bird, the two shy guys who led up to the bird. Man, my performance on the, this level was terrible. Alright. One more hit. But yeah, but yeah, e even reaching Birdo took me forever because, like, video games terrified me. And then once I did reach Birdo, I never figured out that I was supposed to lift the eggs. And so I just kind of ducked in front of Birdo, right? Ducked in front of Birdo. And, uh, you know, Birdo never hit me, but I never hit Birdo. It was a stalemate. And on a stalemate, the house wins. Because you are still prevented from going any further. Whew. Oh no, this is a wraparound area. And it's only a wraparound so that bullets can build up infinitely. Like jerks. Bullets are jerks. Oh, well, there's an exit. Alright, now to try and figure out where the other exit might be hidden. Does it have something to do with that shell? Or is the shell just here so you can take out the Lakitu? I mean, if that was deliberate, I don't know why Lakitu or the shell is there. Whee! Well, that was sad. Alright, so... Whee! I can swim! In real life, I sink like a rock. And I don't know why, I've even had swimming lessons, and they couldn't help me not sink like a rock. All I could tell you was that I was doing it wrong, so I'm being too tense in the water. And, I mean, if you get in the water and you try to float and you start to sink, of course you'd be tense. Also, that water was cold. Alright. Moving on past all this. Am I supposed to fly above stuff? Is that what you want? No, 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 I am not going. I am not going there. Alright, well, there's two coins that are right above a pit, right? Right, like this. Maybe the pit goes... That pit goes somewhere! That is quite a surprise! Is that the end for this house? Wait, how do I get into that segment with that pipe? Alright, so first off... Oh, I see how I get into that segment with that pipe. I just descend here. Oh. Descend. Oh, nice! Where am I? Okay. So, I saw a couple of coins up above that house. So, do these coins point up to something? They do! What's up here? Alright. Koopa Troopa Beach. Why do you keep your beach in the sky? Oh, whew. I thought I messed up and got hit, or was going to get hit, or something something get hit involuntarily. Oh hey, what's this? This isn't a beach. This isn't a beach at all. Where's the sand? Where's the ocean? Or at least the sea? A lake, maybe? 
Some decent sized body of water. I'll even take a river. Something. Anything. Beach. Okay, whatever. Sky Beach. We. I'm going to go someplace unexpected. I'm going to act like I'm angry that the level stonewalled my attempts to, you know, break its difficulty. But really, I appreciate it. It means that the level designer, Nux, thought about the consequences of having Flight Yoshi in the hub just easily obtainable by those who know how to look. Ha! Ah! Curse you. On the other hand, I'm still skipping many chunks of level. Oh my. I am good at this. I mean, I don't know why I'm doing it this way. I mean, I can just as easily do it like this. I mean, Yoshi gives you infinite time during which to handle explosives. Because Yoshi is an explosives expert. Ha! Ah! No, Yoshi, come back. I need you. You are my friend. Oh, where's this take me? Okay. Um. Okay. I was wondering about the pipe I saw here. Okay. This beach is a confusing, confusing place. Good job, me. I just jumped face first into a fish monster. Yeah, take that, fish monsters. Oh, don't worry if my voice goes all wonky. I'm going through puberty for the 12th time this year. Alright. Well, um, I can't escape here except by abandoning Yoshi. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save and quit. Join me next time as I move on to the place past the house, I guess? See you then?